right, let's get some insight from political analyst from the Nelson Mandela University, Ongama Timka, joins us from Kabecha. Ongama, great to chat to you. Gosh, there's so much on the go. <laughs> but I wanted to ask uh, for a response. We, we're seeing these growing calls from the opposition uh, that President Ramaphosa should step aside, essentially, while this matter is investigated. In terms of the ANC's own step-aside policy, do you think the matter is serious enough for, to warrant him actually doing that? Good evening to you, Sally, and your viewers. Thank you for having me this evening. So the matter is serious, and I think that the allegation that uh, Arthur Fraser makes in his affidavit that this could be prima facie evidence of money laundering, among other potential crimes, is uh, a, a justifiable inference based on the fact that the incident happened and it wasn't reported, but uh, more than the non-reporting for me, it's the fact that this money seems to have been stashed away uh, and, and hidden. And secondly, the fact that the investigation was done not following what is proper procedure and the uh, allegedly and the case seems to have been handled in a way uh, by the protection unit that sought to actually have it remain below the radar and i don't know what arguments can be made for having done things that way uh, there could be national security sorry state security issues which may have been a rationale um, I, I, it's going to be very difficult to prove that or to advance that point. And also uh, the fact that there could be potential violations of exchange control uh, uh, legislative guidelines, among other things. So mm. to me, this the, the, and, 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 and in fact, the, uh, uh, the, 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 this being the response from the president so that these were proceeds of uh, game sales doesn't, you know, is implausible in the sense that you don't seek to hide money in furniture. I mean, uh, it, it, that's 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 come uh, from, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 irreputable or from non uh, from from acceptable business practices. Let's, especially, let's Sally, yeah. as, sorry, especially, Sally, given the fact that. President Sir Ramaphosa is a billionaire who is, uh, you know, conscious, conscious about where to keep money in ways that generate further income for him. So mm. the, 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 the idea that uh, money that were proceeds of game, you know, needed to be, was best kept in furniture and not temporarily st stolen, so uh, stored somewhere with an intention to go and bank it. It just makes the story difficult to believe on the part and, of and, the president. And also quite, quite bizarre, uh, quite bizarre, I have to say, especially storing money in furniture, if that is indeed what happened. I want to speak about um, the ANC because we know it's a huge year for the ANC. We've seen that the president is gaining support as these uh, regions and provinces hold their, uh, their regional and provincial elective conferences. Do you think these, uh, this issue around the farm could lose him popularity within the party? So throughout all the time that President Sir Ramaphosa has been leading South Africa, there has been attempts to try and frame him as one of us in the ANC, in the sense that he's not that different from uh, 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 and all his you know, attempts and rhetoric around renewal, uh, you know, was actually hiding a true, a person who's got his own small Anyana skeletons. And every um, thing that's been used so far to try and frame him in the negative light always had some loophole or another. Uh, I think it's the first time there are allegations which have potential to stick and are credible. Um, so, so to that extent, then it, it it it's going to derail. It's going to affect how he is seen within the party. Uh, 
And by the way, the people who have been trying to, uh, you know, relabel or reframe how he is he, he is seen, have not been attempting to do so with the with the with the point with the, with with the intention of you know presenting to us as South Africans a better president or in fact you know a, a, in pursuit of yeah. a greater kind of principles of rule of law and constitutionalism they have been doing so to create a situation where there's a stalemate enough to allow for back tra- pushing back against the reforms that have been put there that is why while the intentions may be recognized that you know part of the intention for this to come out is to ensure that that ultimate stalemate is reached enough to make him capitulate on the processes of institution building. Uh, it should be take it should be regard, also borne in mind that these are credible that this what seem to be very credible allegations and yeah. therefore will have their own mileage so in serious, terms of indeed. his standing in the mm. party. Yeah. Very quickly, uh, the arrest of two Gupta's bro- two Gupta brothers. Um, is this going to be a big litmus test for the NPA? After all, if their charges, even if they manage to bring them back to the country, don't stick, uh, won't this whole state capture accountability project just collapse? The arrest of the Guptas is very important for the processes of, you know, making sure that there are consequences for prison, I, I would like to call it no less than that, uh, and there are consequences for privatizing the power of uh, that's bequeathed by South Africans to politicians and, and uh, taking that and giving it to private uh, interests who actually ran a predatory, you know, state capture, a version of state capture. However, People are saying that this is a distraction, among other things. And I think in South Africa, we're too fixated with, you know, uh, mutual exclu- mutually exclusive things, where you find that, for example, uh, people will say this is a distraction precisely because of the timing that we find ourselves in. The arrest of the Guptas has got its own merits. The case against the president has got its own merits. And it's important for the NPA to be able, while it has enjoyed enough political support from President Cyril Ramaphosa and company, to also recognize that their agency has got to be uh, 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 exercised in ways that, yes, indeed, show the dependency to a political, a supportive political environment. But also, I think we're entering a phase now where they are going to actually be the leaders of their or, 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 of processes of, you know, prosecution and, and rebuilding institutions of law enforcement in the country, despite what may be pressures from politicians because what you may expect is that even though they may have enjoyed support from President Cyril Ramaphosa's camp, there will be pressure now and, and, and attempts made to try and stifle the work of law enforcement agencies if it implicates mm-hmm. the president and, 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 and his own uh, camp. And as such, they must actually have enough courage to lead and do the right thing courage to stick to the rule of law. Thank you very much. Absolutely fascinating. Political analyst Ongama and Tim Cass.